Uh, well, hello. Uh, pleased to uh, have everybody here today to join me with a brief chat with uh, Linda Green. Linda is the Executive Director of the Southern, Southern Virginia Regional Alliance. My name is Brian David. I'm the Program Director for Region 3, Go Virginia Region 3. And uh, we do this periodic from time to time, talk to some of our grantees about projects that are upcoming. Uh, we also do these videos as retrospectives, but today we're gonna to talk about shovel ready. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it at that, but it has to do with business, business sites, the actual nuts and bolts of, of creating uh, sites that are used to retract business. So uh, the first question I'm gonna ask you, Linda, is what is a shovel ready site and why are these important to economic development in region three? Thanks, Brian. That's a great question. Um, Shovel-ready sites are sites that are ready for a company to place development in, build their facility without worrying whether or not they're going to have surprises as they go through the process. And if I can simplify this and just explain it relative to housing development. If you're doing a construction of a, a home on an acre of land, you know that it had to be zoned correctly. You know that you have to have perk tests for well and septic and all of these things. But as home development grows and that turns into a larger, bigger project, there's a lot more that has to go into that with the development of the infrastructure. You have to make sure in some cases that there is a wastewater treatment system in place, that there is water and capacity, curb and, curb and gutter, all these different things for bigger developments. Well, I would compare this industrial development to those bigger housing projects. And there is a lot of engineering work that has to go in before you can do roads, before you can develop water, electrical capacity, broadband, and sewer. So there's also air permitting emission controls because they have different things than our homes. But to say that you have a housing development that is shovel ready means the locality or the developer has already taken care of all of those concerns. And when you place your money there, you're gonna be able to put the shovel in the ground. Industries want the same thing. They want to know that they can put the shovel in the ground and build quickly without risk that downstream, they're going to find out it wasn't zoned properly. It didn't have the right engineering studies done for them to know they're safe. And so what we're seeing today is a more sophisticated group of companies that are coming expecting localities to have already made that commitment. Okay, very good, very good. If I could kind of, and I really like the housing development because you could go out and buy five, 10 acres out uh, along a, a Route 600 road somewhere and, and, and build your, your dream home. But there's a lot of things that go into that between getting all the infrastructure in place as well as getting the site ready. You've got some time with the, uh, the correlation to business ready is you've eliminated all of that time factor and risk factor for businesses. And frankly, that's what they expect. They don't expect the greenfield or the, the, the hundred acre piece of, of, of farmland that has to be graded and do all that. And, and, and then if, if I understand the way this all works is if you don't do those things, the next region down the road will have done that. And, exactly. so and it also allows for a better matching of what you want to try to attract and what you think should come here and what they see when they see you on an internet site, website, which is typically the way they start their searches today. These sites are already preloaded into a site. Let's put a pin in that because I want to come back to matching businesses you know, with the site and then matching what are the types of businesses that you want to attract to those sites? But now we've got this grant project. It, it certainly is a significant investment that the uh, Southern Virginia Regional Alliance's communities have done, but Go Virginia, certainly the Tobacco Commission, uh, the U.S. Economic Development Administration will have a role in this. But just give us an idea about this project, and I'm going to give its full title because we've got to give its full, full, full billing here, Strengthening Southern Virginia's Economy by expanding the inventory of shovel-ready sites. 
So tell us about that. It's a lengthy title, but I think it says a lot. Um, as the Commonwealth of Virginia is looking at leads, they're finding themselves in the highest demand in the history of the Virginia Economic Development Partnership. So we're getting more projects that want ready sites than we have at any time in history. The number one reason for us losing those projects is not having enough available sites. Now we think in our region, there are lots of industrial parks and lots of development, but I'll use Cane Creek for an example, which um, have, has had quite a bit of investment and we're still looking for a further certified site. We will now be the last sites in the park when we get this certification ready to go. Ison Foods just announced a large investment, a Fortune 100 company. They invested in that park in another certified site and took away our only site other than the mega site, which is for major large projects. So um, the Virginia Economic Development Partnership has a database of sites that are market ready, certifiable as shovel ready. We want to have more properties of diverse characteristics in that database. So this was done from taking a group of 66 sites across our region. Then we narrowed those 66 down to 33 for evaluation by McKinsey on whether they were market ready. And the EDP took an engineering firm's um, assessment from three qualified engineering firms to give them an assessment of whether they were ready to move forward in this process. Then we further narrow, narrowed this down to 11 sites. These 11 sites being different diverse characteristics across our region that would enable us to move forward for this program. So when you say, how is your contribution going to make a difference in our region? It's going to help every locality in our area move forward with a site that will be shovel ready or closer to shovel ready for its specific needs and characteristics, whether that be a site that has rail location, whether it's a site that's near um, an interstate connection, whether it's a site that has um, a smaller pad site that might be very, very useful for uh, a specialty manufacturer or whether the manufacturer also has distribution on site. So what you've done is answer a very varied group of needs so that when we get a project, we can pinpoint the site that best aligns and let them look at those sites. Yeah. Couple, couple things, because that, that attraction, you're trying to sell the region on sites. And what's the other thing that you're trying to sell them on? The quality of life and workforce. Are, and, I mean, they go hand in hand. Um, it used to be that when you, when you talked about site development, site was the only answer. Now it's where we're located and site, that's number one, but they're checking that off before they even give us an opportunity. And when they get here, the prepared workforce and the quality of life are gonna be key. And we have to have those answers ready and at, at our fingertips for it. And, and you were sharing me with the other day that the, the questions, they just keep getting more complex and greater in volume with each one of these projects. And there's a correlation between the scale the number of jobs that a, a business would create as well as their investment. Uh, just give everybody a, a quick uh, thing. Who helped you go through this process of identifying the 66, 33, down to the 11? And what localities are involved, were involved in this and will be going forward? Every locality was instrumental in this work. So this includes uh, Patrick County, Halifax County, the city of Danville, Pennsylvania County, and we also opened it up to Martinsville and Henry County. They did not have a site at this point that needs to move forward, but if they do in the future, we'd look to them too. Um, in this case, all of the economic development teams participated. We worked with the engineering firms that worked with Virginia Economic Development Partnership. So the Dewberry Group, Timmons Group, and Draper Aiden all have been involved in this. Um, in addition, Virginia Economic Development Partnership guided us through it hand in hand from day one. We served on their initial 
um, planning committee for this. So we have been working with the Virginia Economic Development Partnership for about three years on the planning of this to the implementation to until today. Um, Go Virginia, I cannot say enough about the leadership Go Virginia at Region 3 level has provided us in the development of this and working with our sister area just to the east of us. Um, the Virginia Growth Alliance has been involved in the planning for this, and I think you'll hear something from them in the future, um, as well as the Farmville area and the areas surrounding Farmville. Um, so it, it's definitely not been a singular effort. Also, the Tobacco Commission, I have to commend Sarah Capps in particular, has worked hand in hand with us on the planning for this, what it means to the region, and tying it to what's already been provided and how we link those things. Um, so, and then finally, EDA, I know that Brian David at Go Virginia Region 3, of course, has been our advocate from day one and has helped us with those communications, both with the Tobacco Commission, with Go Virginia and DHCD, as well as with EDA. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you. It's, I, I think one thing that, that, that this project demonstrates is the collaboration, both vertically and horizontally, uh, between groups. Uh, the, the other thing, and I'll, I'll, I'll save you from having to do this, but I'll, I'll, I'll share with our viewers. There was the mother of all spreadsheets that Linda did that had all these sites and then all the things that go into uh, the studies that need to be done, the engineering, all of the paperwork, frankly, uh, the permitting and things. And that's what these funds are going to be used for. They're going to help with all of the uh, in real estate, it's called due diligence. It's it's getting all the things necessary to actually go out and start turning dirt and making infrastructure investments. And so the Go Virginia, the Tobacco Commission, and the EDA will help fund all those. The localities have put in cash. They've got land and investment that they've put in all these parks. And so this really is a, a, a group effort in getting these uh, uh, sites positioned so professionals such as Linda and her colleagues can go market them. They can sell, 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 sell and create jobs and, and capital investment. Got two more questions, Linda. We're, we're almost there. But uh, again, there is detailed work on this. And it's very detailed, very technical and sophisticated. But it's about doing the, the pre-planning and the engineering that then makes stuff happen. Uh, two questions left. But why are you and your colleagues enthusiastic about this undertaking? I think it's the collaborative effort that's happening across the region and the fact that there is a greater awareness that you can't wait for people to come to you and expect great things to happen. A region has to prepare, they have to collaborate and watching the state of Virginia, both through Go Virginia, Virginia Economic Development Partnership, Department of Housing and Community Development, all these pieces come together to say, as a state, as a region, and as a locality, we've got to work together to improve our odds of success. And seeing our localities work together, they didn't all fight for their sites, they fought for a, a combination of sites where everybody wins. So when we say that we've got 10 sites of, across the region, they're not all clustered in one area. They're spread across the area for differences that they all appreciate and understand. And watching them come together and work together collaboratively to make sure that they all succeed will be the key to the success in the region. Wonderful, wonderful. It's, it's really that, that shared risk and shared reward because the companies really don't see those municipal boundaries. They don't see those lines. They want to know where the site is, where their suppliers and their customers are, how are they going to get there to them and how will they get to them, as well as where the workforce is coming from. And none of those recognize any municipal boundaries, as you, as you know. So, all right, we're wrapping it up here. We've done a great job so far. I think you've communicated what, what's going on with this project. The last question in five words or less, and you're really good at this. Uh, and I shared this question ahead of time. Um, what should be the main takeaway for our viewers on this shovel-ready project, getting business sites ready for business? I 
think we're catalyzing partners to prepare for progress. And I added two short words, Brian, but none of this happens alone. And if you think about this, our jobs are to form those collaboratives. So catalyze partners to prepare for progress. None of us will succeed if we don't work together. Yeah. Well said. Well said. And 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 you can you can have as a few more words, more than five. But it was well put. Well, well I thank you for your time. I certainly uh, your help in, in communicating the, the good work that, that you all are going to do and how Go Virginia Region Three pays uh, certainly a supporting role in that. But it really is us just kind of helping uh, things along. So thank you very much, Linda. I appreciate the your time and, 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 and effort. Thank and you. thank you to Go Virginia Region 3, your leadership and forcing partnerships and collaboration is never simple and you're doing a great job with it. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, you're welcome. It's, a, it's team effort, team effort.